Hey guys, what's happening? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. For those of you who don't know, I also write music under the moniker Prism Prime. I released a brand new EP last week called These Thoughts Don't Belong to You, and I just hit number eight in the break genre on Beatport. Check it out, you guys. All right, let's check this out, you guys. So if we go to Beatport.com and we go to the breaks genre and we scroll down to the top 10 releases currently in the break genre, we'll see that the number one spot is taken by the Chemical Brothers. Good job, guys. All right. We've got a release from Hospital Records in the number two spot. We've got a release from Tool Room Records in the number five spot. We've got a release from uh, Mousetrap, the uh, Dead Mouse's record label, in the number six spot. And here I am, you guys, number eight. These Thoughts Don't Belong to You from Prison Prime on the label that I'm on right now called Boom Tick Records. I am so stoked, you guys, just to be on the same page as these other artists and these major labels is like an absolute dream for me. This is really, 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 really huge. Seriously, guys, if you enjoy my videos and you've ever thought about supporting me, now would be the time. I'm really asking for your support to head on over to Beatport and grab a copy of my new EP for yourself so I can try to continue moving up the charts, guys. All three of the tracks on my EP, guys, started out as live jams in here. The first track on my EP is a dub techno track, and it's actually the very first and only track that I put together using the Novation uh, SLMK3 as a sequencer. I sequenced uh, a bunch of gear over here on this side of the room for that live jam, and that's been an unreleased live jam. I did a like a two-part really special um, live jam, and those tracks ended up becoming tracks one and two on this album. I'm going to go ahead and share that performance with you now. Please excuse the audio quality on that performance, guys. It was originally streamed uh, to Facebook Live, so uh, the audio is going to be mono as the is a limitation of the Facebook uh, app. It's sums everything to mono. Uh, I hope you enjoy the live jam, guys. This is where these songs came from. And then um, I spent weeks after I built the, the tracks and did this jam, I spent weeks recording these um, track by track, individually, multi-tracked out into Ableton, and then made the finished album versions of these tracks for my EP. I hope you enjoyed the live version, guys. Thanks for your support. Hey, real quick, guys, I just realized that I hold up a note, a message in this video that says my central theme still barks like a dog in me. And what that is, is that's a reference to my favorite song of all time by a band called The Wonder Stuff. And the song is called On the Ropes. And it's sort of a reference um, to the condition that I'm living with right now. I put out like uh, so much music in 2015 and 16 it was like uh, 120 five signed tracks 126 or something like that and I spent so much time in front of the speakers those couple of years that I've developed horrible horrible tinnitus you guys and I kind of took about a year off from music um, and things were pretty dark for me at that time um, but I sort of just sort of learned to live with it you know and um, and I can't you know I can't stop who I am and I can't stop what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and so my central theme still barks like a dog in me. You know what I'm saying? Remember, these thoughts don't belong to you.
Remember, these thoughts don't belong to you. How am I so sure if this is true? Is this thought limiting me? How could I go beyond this limitation? limitation. How could I go beyond this limitation? How could I go beyond this limitation? How could I go beyond this limitation? Thank you. 
Remember, these thoughts don't belong to you. How am I so sure if this is true? Is this thought limiting me? How could I go beyond this limitation? Hey guys, I just want to encourage you one more time to head on over to Beatport and pick up a copy of my new EP. It's Prism Prime. These thoughts don't belong to you. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Thank you.